Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. I have a new Kotlin on Android series. This one's based on how to download and display an image using the various Android libraries that are out there. We start off first with the Picasso image loading library. And this particular episode consists of two parts. The original part is creating our initial application, which will consist of an image view, a button for starting the download, and we're using our chronometer timer as well, so we can time how long it takes to download and display the image. And then this particular episode moves on to describing how to install the Picasso library. And then after that, using the Picasso library to download and display the image. And we also set the image dimensions as well, so we conserve memory for the application. The next episode in this series is the Glide image loading library. And like Picasso, Glide is designed specifically for downloading and displaying images. So with the Glide image loading tutorial, we describe how to install the library first and then how to set up the library and code before using the APIs to download and display an image using the Glide image loading library. We then move across to the Volley HTTP library. The Volley library is a more general purpose library compared to Picasso and Glide. So with Volley, you can do a number of HTTP, HTTP transactions in addition to downloading a bitmap, but Volley does provide a specific support for actually downloading a bitmap image and setting the size for that. So in this tutorial, again, we go through how to install the Volley libraries itself before setting up the code to actually download and display a bitmap. We then move across to AOK HTTP library, and similar to Volley, the uh, OK HTTP library is a general purpose library where you can do a number of HTTP transactions. And in this case, we're just going to be downloading a stream and converting that stream to bitmap. One thing to note with the OK HTTP library, we do have to specify that it runs on an asynchronous background thread. Um, it can also do synchronous block blocking operations, but that won't work for what we're doing here. And once we've downloaded the image, we will have the full size image um, compared to the previous libraries where we could specify the width and height dimensions. We can't actually do that for this particular library. We then move across to the HTTP URL connection API and included with that is the Anko coroutine. So the HTTP URL connection API already comes provided in the Android SDK. It's not a third party library as the previous tutorials. So you don't need to actually install it. You can just use it straight away. It's provided to you. So we call this library initially on the UI main, UI main thread and then describe what happens when you try and do network access from the main UI thread. And following that, that allows us to introduce ANCO coroutines and allows us to make network calls on a background thread using the ANCO coroutine. And the final episode in this series is one for members on the professional plan, or you can buy this particular series outright for the price of $10. And this is resizing your bitmap to your target dimensions, which in this case is our image view width and height. In the previous tutorials, the two last previous tutorials, the HTTP URL connection and the OK HTTP tutorials, the images that were downloaded are actually full size images and they're way larger than what we require for our image view. So in this tutorial, we will resize those, scale down those images, the bitmap to the exact dimensions that we require for our image view. Each episode is going to be released on a weekly basis, starting off with the Picasso tutorial. And first of all, they'll be released to this website channel first, and then a few days later towards the end of the week, to YouTube but I do provide the option for people to access all these videos straight away and for that you can buy the plan here so if you click on the image pack image library package here and we get taken to the link 
there is a link here where you can buy all these episodes in advance for the price of ten dollars and there's also bonus premium features here that you get access to that's not provided for the free YouTube membership. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this series. Thank you for taking the time for watching this. Bye for now.